Well, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us for this session. I, I hope you uh, can learn something. You can certainly see how you can improve your organization. Um, and my name is Toby Zellers, and I'll be kicking this off. Um, I'm here with Jeff Valentine from CloudChecker, who is a very loyal and longtime sponsor of AWS and our customers. And uh, you'll be hearing more from Jeff in a few minutes. Um, before we get started, I'd just like to, to, to remind you that the exit is to the rear. Um, back there. Uh, the restrooms, if you go out the door, to the left. Obviously, if there's a fire alarm, you know you need to get out of the building, assemble outside. Um, everybody should have an application that they downloaded on their mobile device, or you can use a, a browser, but please use that application to enter in your feedback for this session and all the other sessions. It's really important to us that we uh, get better, and we get better every year by your feedback. It helps uh, drive the content that we deliver to you. It helps our presenters do a better job of um, helping you understand the business we're in, the changes in the marketplace, et cetera. So please use the app and, and please provide us your feedback. So with that, I got a quiz question for everybody. Does anybody know what this is? Anybody, um, just shout it out. What, what is that thing? Say again? For a sink. No, it's not for a sink. Fishing pole? You could put a fishing pole in there, but no, it's not for a fishing pole. All right, next clue. It would be mounted to this. It is a buggy whip holder. Now, this is an important thing, because if your horses are doing fine, you don't need to hold the buggy whip in your hand. You can put it in the buggy whip holder, right? Very important piece. There was businesses that made buggy whip holders, and they were doing very, very well in the market, because everybody had a buggy until they started making these things, right? So this is from uh, their Motor Taxameter Droschlager by Daimler-Benz. This is really cool, but there's no buggy whip on this thing. You really didn't need it. I think the first cars, they were trying to figure out where to put the buggy whips just in case. But you really don't need a buggy whip. And then this evolved, and all of a sudden, cars became this thing that a lot of people had, became very social. Right? And then the Model T came along, and Henry Ford was able to use manufacturing technology, new processes to streamline the manufacture, to reduce the prices. He even gave all his employees a raise to an unbelievably high level, and they could afford to buy cars. So he was in selling to his customers. So it was pretty neat, unless you're in the buggy whip business, or you're in the buggy business, and then all of a sudden, your market disappeared. So what does that have to do with cloud computing? What does that have to do with technology? What does that have to do with the security of your enterprise or how you spend your money? Well, for that, Jeff Valentine's gonna come talk to us about Cloud Checker and how they can help you with your business. Jeff? Thank you, Toby. Hi, guys. Um, buggy whips, uh, we've all heard the analogy what we've seen is that this whole industry, an entire set of computing industries is being transformed by digital. And this migration away from old way of doing things to more modern IT infrastructure has created an opportunity. People need speedometers and seat belts. They don't need buggy whip holders anymore. That's what the business of Cloud Checker is. We're in the business of providing that tooling, that management that drives confidence. This is how we view the market. I think we've all sort of seen similar graphs. This is our best view of how the market is split up today. Of all the things that could be on the cloud, maybe there's 80% of the workloads out there, about 10% uh, 10 percentage points are actually there. There's a lot to go. We're just tip of the iceberg. There's 20% of stuff that'll never move to the cloud and that probably won't be transformed for a while. Um, but the 70% that's still to come is driving some of this opportunity for us. But for that 70%, Digital means complex, and the IT managers that have Cisco certifications or Microsoft certifications or Oracle certifications don't feel as excited about this transformation. In fact, they want to slow it down just a little bit. And I think we've all seen in agencies and in private sector um, this happen. And there's uh, an inertia to making this change when you don't have confidence in the tooling. That confidence is why Cloud Checker exists. We're, we built a cloud management platform, and we've been doing this since 2011, that drives confidence in these digital transformations. Turns out that one of the first things that destroys confidence is one of the first things we built for, and that's 
the ability to have a, uh, a cost view of the world. If you've got a budget that says you're gonna spend X and you're in the federal agency sort of business, you probably should hit exactly that at the end of the year. Not a little less or a little bit more, but exactly that number. And having confidence that you can and you're spending just the right amount is important. But beyond cost comes the next thing that happens. What about security? How can you trust it? How do you know that somebody's not gonna push the wrong button? Maybe that person works for you or maybe that person is you. Uh, are you gonna end up uh, on some you know, big uh, newspaper article for doing the wrong thing? Um, that kind of fear has driven us to build a platform that addresses cost, security, and compliance concerns. And for resellers of cloud, resellers of Amazon, we provide the billing and the invoicing tools as well. If you think about how this works, it, tends, it seems that you need like five things to do that. You need to be able to support a variety of cloud environments. In fact, you need your primary and of course, hybrid environments as well. You need something that's multifunctional and can do everything that I've just said, plus we'll add more functionality over time. You need something that is independent because as you're really looking for somebody to be your trusted source of the truth and what's happening across lots of accounts and even lots of environments, you want a large independent provider that's built for scale. Somebody that has the ability to address the largest workloads. Some of the largest organizations in the world use Cloud Checker and have for uh, many years. And so we're built for that large scale. $10 million a month in spend is not unusual. Uh, you also want something that's very configurable because it turns out that everybody's business is a little bit different. And although you may want to hit that exact budget number at the end of the year, you also, if you're an organization in the private sector, may want to save that money and go hire a few more people to help you do it. Or you might want to push it toward another project, or you might want to just buy more faster because you're more confident. That configurability is built in. We happen to be, we're a technology partner. We're, we just announced, or was just announced that we're also an ATO and AWS launch partner. Lots of competencies you can uh, browse. But we're proud of some of these numbers. Some of these things are uh, the result of a lot of hard work in the company. Our customers tend to be rather large, as I mentioned. We manage across our customer environment about $3 billion a year of cloud spend. We're growing at about we're more than doubling every year uh, and lots of offices. Um, I don't think there's anything else that's interesting here except for that compliance piece. I'm gonna get to that in a second, but with regard to FISMA and how we track compliance stance over time, we have a product feature that does that. AWS provides a lot of the building blocks that helps us produce our software. We ingest data from CloudTrail and from the billing file, the cost and usage reports, or the DBR. Um, we produce data that comes from uh, change monitoring of, of uh, VPC flow logs and other sources, CloudWatch included. All of this data flows into what is essentially an engine that ingests and spits back out alerts and best practice checks against cost, security, compliance, and even reseller tools. And all of that functionality then rolls up to how we provide the end user functionality. So larger organizations have the visibility they need and the controls they need. Smaller uh, pieces within that organization can use the end user functionality of our web portal. It's all a SaaS solution or it runs in a, an AMI if you need it to, um, to go run uh, their business as well. I'm gonna go through some of the platform features that our public sector customers are using today. One of the most popular features is our best practice checks. Amazon Trusted Advisor has a good starting point here. There's 50 to 100 things that are checked on a regular basis. We think there's more than 500 that should be checked. And so part of our intellectual property is the 550 best practices that we analyze every minute of every day forever. And we store the history of this forever too. If you wanna go back in time and see what violated three weeks ago on a Tuesday or three years ago, you've got the data in Cloud Checker forever. For, for all of these features, cost management, there's things that we want to alert you to that would affect your costs. Or on the security side, obviously open S3 buckets are probably a bad idea unless they're web images. We alert you to that plus 250 other things. Um, utilization and performance, we're looking at things that are underutilized or that maybe you're not utilizing auto scaling groups. Uh, or on the availability side, do you have EBS volumes that aren't snapshotted? We're gonna tell you if you do. Let's talk about cost optimization. It's one of those things that um, every organization needs to have confidence in to be able to scale. Cost comes from, cost overruns come from, I should say, things like idle resources. Have you bought things that you thought you were gonna use and never used? 
Or should you buy our eyes because you're using something consistently? That analysis and that ROI is built into Cloud Checker. We're going to do that uh, for you. Budget alerts. You're going to set your budget, whether it's based on a commitment with AWS or it's based on your own internal budget. We can help you track that, and we'll report against it as you burn down. Uh, we include uh, a lot of tools around grouping of cloud costs. Our customers tend to use Cloud Checker as a reporting engine for invoicing as well. The ability to run a pivot table in Excel is sort of done in our software. So you can do all the same features in grouping and counting. Uh, your organizations are probably using tags. You need to use tags to be able to say this is production or this is development or these are some other workloads. No matter how your tag strategy is set up, you've got Cloud Checker behind you to report against those tags as filters. Uh, and of course, we'll help you right size. Is something too big or too small? Is it more efficient to run on a more modern generation of resource or an older? We'll tell you that answer. Billing is interesting. There are organizations that are reselling AWS that need to be able to accommodate, for example, a GSA price list. Or you might need to uh, give a custom discount for a custom uh, deal. Or you might need to combine AWS services with other ProServe that you might offer. That combination of billing, we end up being the invoicing tool for most resellers of cloud inside public sector. Um, that granular, the ability to have granular charge descriptions built in, the ability to actually reprice AWS for the custom deal that that reseller has struck with every agency is how we operate. On utilization, we're tracking all this data that comes from CloudWatch and CloudTrail across everything, across the multiple accounts, combining it into different views, filtering by whatever you want, and displaying it for you and even alerting on it if it needs to be. And on the security side, this is how we visualize best practice checks. Um, red, green, red, red, yellow, green uh, examples of things you need to fix, things that you have fixed. Things that need to be fixed, you can automate. There's a little automation button as well to fix it. And so you can set up a rule to allow Cloud Checker to fix your infrastructure if it's not compliant. Speaking of compliance, there are 35 different compliance standards that we built in to Cloud Checker. Things like NIST 800-53 and all of those relevant standards, PCI. Um, all of these standards are reported against and tracked over time. This becomes a body of evidence. Should you need to go report back uh, what changes occurred, what was a violation, how was it fixed, those remediation notes are kept within Cloud Checker as well. And automation. The tools to be able to make this happen, not just the first time it happens, but continuously in the future, it's built into Cloud Checker. That remediation and cleanup tasks help you sort of offload the tedious work and let us take care of it in the back. Let me tell you about a few customers. I tried to, I had to take off most of these logos, but uh, I'll tell you some of the, the stories about them as I go through. Using cloud management tools, it's supposed to drive confidence. It also helps operations be more efficient. This organization said it helps them quickly make decisions. It helps them save money. There's a lot of data inside AWS. And when you're a larger account with multiple views and multiple users and multiple groups, putting it all together into one central place is what this customer values. Uh, people like transparency, that idea of having an independent source of the truth, a view of uh, all of your costs, all of your security, and all of your compliance in one place. This uh, organization, I think this one is in education, actually, so they feel, helps them feel more comfortable stepping into the public cloud. You're going to run into detractors that have said, wait a second, we've done this forever using premise environments. How do I know that this is going to work the right way? You give them access to Cloud Checker. It'll answer those questions. Voice of the customer on this one is around focusing on the right things. When there's so much data, when you've got everything under the sun available to you, more than 100 services reporting literally gigabytes of data per day uh, in, from AWS, those building blocks have to be summarized for them to be actionable. That's what Cloud Checker does. And this customer uh, talks about the ease of use, how this operates, um, that we can, yes, you can take some of this data from AWS, but making sense of it makes it easy to use that information. Um, this one says that accelerates their ability to onboard customers for AWS. So if you work on a project basis, a lot of the large system integrators use Cloud Checker. Being able to pull um, a particular project into the public cloud with confidence happens when you have this kind of tool set. And of course, it helps larger organizations operate at scale. When you're spending more than a million dollars a month, you're in our sweet spot. And that's where I think a cloud management platform becomes the most valuable. I'm going to uh, 
pause before we go uh, any further. I have time for questions. I'm going to let everybody go early because we all have some fun things to do tonight. But if you have any questions, please step up to the microphone, and uh, I'll be happy to answer them. Anybody? OK. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming. Oh, wait, we've got a question in the back corner. We've got a different mic if you need it up here. Toby, would you mind? There's a. Can you like customize your groupings in terms of can you like if you're monitoring another product within the network, can you customize that? Can you cut? Yes. So you can customize anything in the in the. Yeah, we've got the building blocks to be able to report on it just about any way you'd like. Some of those building blocks can be spun, like I said, based on tags, might be based on security stance, might be based on accounts or multiple account views, all of that's included. Is this also for the commercial world too, or is it just? It is, yeah. Some of our largest customers tend to be large financial services, telcos, things like that. Okay, good, thank you. Sure. Any other questions? Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming.